And in the center, we put two projectors on one screen. They're stacked, they're showing the exact same image. Uh, it's a little out of the ordinary, but in this case, it was actually a cost savings. Um, to put enough brightness on that size screen for this room, for the color to have the punch and the clarity, you can actually see where the shadow of the people kind of disappear off into the edges without enough brightness and punch from the projection, the silhouettes would just disappear. One of the things you'll notice around campus, you see a lot of the TV. So one of the things that we uh, worked out with ABI on is to make sure that no matter where a TV exists or where the video feed is, we can send whatever we want to that TV or whatever we want to that location. So even though it's a TV there and there's a TV behind you and all the way down the hallway, each one of them is independently driven. So I can send a DVD to this one, and I can send you know PowerPoint slides to that one, and I can send uh, pastors being on stage on video onto the third one, whatever I choose. So it gave us the ability of creating zones inside our facility. So we've had uh, in our facility, we've had close to 15 different groups that come in, anywhere from uh, you know some big names to you know smaller in groups. Um, when they come into our facility, the first thing they, they obviously look at is how wide our facility is. How uh, it's not very deep, but it is very, very wide. So a lot of times when they bring their own PA systems in, which we are capable of accommodating that, they very quickly realize there's no way they can fill from left to right of our facility. So one of the things we took into account when we built this facility and we built the sound system is we put in line arrays that can hit left to right and provide the same quality of sound despite if you're in the farthest left seat or the farthest right seat. Here's all of your inputs, all the different sound and stuff that you're going to get. So like as I said, pianos, keyboards, bass, acoustic. So these guys then can come in and say, I can click on the keyboard channel and turn the keyboard down in my ears. But then I can go in the bass and turn it up. Or I'm playing the piano and I want it to be louder than everybody. Or I want to go to the, the snare on the drums and I want to put it in my left ear not my right ear. This is audio control for video playback. So what happens is they might have multiple different video events happening within a the service. They might play back a video from the PC or the Mac and then they also have three different DVD players. Now they may use say DVD 3 to play a video loop advertising some kind of upcoming event that really doesn't have audio, it's just a video they've created and they're playing. But they could use DVD 1 or 2 to show, say, a training video on a weeknight event. And then by turning up the volume here, they're actually turning up the send down to this PA downstairs.